So for the past six months, I have been making a horrible mistake on the audio of my videos on this channel. And I thought about whether I could just ignore the situation and get on with life. And then I thought, no, what I'll do is I'll share it with the world. I like to go through life thinking I'm a reasonably competent person. But in this case, my fail brings all of that into question. Here's how it happened and why. Recently, I purchased a refurbished DJI mic. And I was excited to receive it because it's gonna allow me to get shots and good audio at a distance from the camera. So that allows me to do a whole range of other things outside or in settings that I couldn't do here in the studio. And so bottom line is it opens up a range of options that I didn't have. And because it's a two microphone set, it also allows me the option of setting up an interview format video, which I'm probably going to do in the near future. Okay, so let's talk about my chair squeaking a lot. Sorry. Let's talk about the DJI mic and what you get with it. Again, this is not the brand new DJI mic 2. That is a new system. This is the original DJI mic. I purchased it because I was able to get a refurbished unit and it looks brand new, but it comes with two microphones. They're both lab capable. They both come with uh, very strong magnets on the back of the clip. You can either clip them to your shirt, to your pocket, or you can magnetically clip them to whatever it is that you're wearing. Some people like to use them with the lav mic. Some people like to just clip these inside of their shirt discreetly. But again, this gives up to like 800 feet worth of range and that is quite a lot of range. It comes with the charging case. It's a hard plastic case, has a couple of adapters inside and the receiver also fits in there. Everything charges together, charges very efficiently. And this can connect to your camera, of course. And again, part of the reason that I purchased it was I had gone out with my GoPro 10 and I had recorded a number of outdoor images and settings and as I was describing what I was doing and what I wanted to share here on the channel, every time I flipped that GoPro around, the audio went from you know good to completely unacceptable. So that was a wasted 30 minutes and all of that video was useless as far as I'm concerned. So I wanted to have something that was a high quality audio product that would allow me to turn the GoPro or any camera around for that matter without seeing a drop off in audio quality. Because if I'm seeing something out in the environment that I want to share, I want to be able to explain and describe what I'm seeing without having audio crash every time I turn the camera. That is what I was thinking and that's my primary reason for getting this. But it also allows me to get some distance from the camera itself and that is a perception difference that is pretty significant. So depending on the setting, depending on exactly what I'm filming and sharing, I can incorporate these microphones to give me more options and be able to explain what I'm seeing in real time and not have to voice over in order to share what I'm seeing and what I'm experiencing. Voice over is always an option in the future, but this allows me to share in the moment what I'm seeing without getting horrible audio. So I'm kind of excited about that. A lot of times when I'm traveling, I like to be able to point things out or here around my place I've been involved in a lot of projects since I retired and so I like to use the GoPro 10 to be able to point out some of the progress that I've been making on projects and what I've been up to. The problem with the GoPro or any other camera that I've found is that when it's not turned towards you, you lose your audio quality and so this particular DJI mic system it allows me to be able to turn the camera and point out a point of interest 
share that with you without losing audio quality. For example, this is a tree. I planted that tree in the backyard. We put in this backyard this fall. Over here is gonna be a fire pit area. And that's something we previously used that location for before. Did this entire backyard this year. That's something that now you know, you didn't know before. Just thought I'd share that information with you. I know it's very exciting. This mic system will allow me to do a number of things. I can share information with you from a distance, even greater distance. In fact, according to the instructions, I can achieve good audio quality from up to 800 feet away. And so that opens up a range of options and alternatives that I didn't have before, but I have now. And you can probably see the microphone prominently on the exterior of my shirt here. And that may even look a little silly, but there's a, a number of different ways to go about camouflaging or concealing the microphone, depending on how you're gonna use it. And as long as I have you out here, I'll show you the rest of the backyard. This is ugly. This is ugly over here too. Haven't gotten around to putting in the flowers, trees and shrubs. So the audio quality from the DJI mic system is excellent, as long as you have it set up correctly. And I'm not gonna go into the specifics of all of the details about setup, but I will give you some very basic advice that I found was missing on a number of the tutorial videos. Hopefully this will be helpful to you. Let's go back to the studio. So as I said before, I like to consider myself a reasonably competent person and I checked multiple tutorial videos before I set about configuring this particular microphone set and system. One, two, three, okay, so had to check. And I will show you what I have been using for about four to six months. At the recommendation of another YouTuber, I purchased this Rode shotgun mic and mounted it to my Sony ZV-E10. Now, in full disclosure, I didn't recognize a difference in the audio quality when I installed that microphone. And I went back and forth several times, pulling it off, putting it back on, and checking to see if I could perceive any difference whatsoever. I could not see a difference. So I just rolled with it. I didn't anticipate that there was anything amiss. I figured that's just the way it was. I was really, really wrong. And I only discovered my error once I set about to set up the DJI mic system. So I'm gonna flip this around and show you what I did. I'm not gonna remove the Rode mic. The DJI mic receiver sets up here in the, in the same location on the Sony ZV-E10. The cable runs down and I plugged it into the same location as I was plugging my Rode mic. It was only after I recognized that my audio quality was non-existent. That is to say, the DJI mic receiver was indicating on the LED indicator that it was getting good signal, but the camera audio record indicator didn't show that there was any difference even as I adjusted the DJI receiver. There should have been a change in audio levels. So I knew there was a problem. As I dug deeper into it, I found the problem. Turns out this is not for input from a microphone. This little button here on the side of the camera covers the port, the receptacle for the microphone jack. So it didn't matter what I plugged in here didn't matter how many adjustments I made. It didn't matter what I did. It wasn't going to work. And it didn't work until I got it right. And unfortunately, there wasn't a single tutorial on YouTube that I found that pointed out the difference. It's just expected that you would know the difference. But I don't have a photography background. I don't have a lot of familiarity with cameras and gear, so I'm finding this out as I go. I was embarrassed. I really couldn't believe that I'd been uh, screwing that up for like six months, but now it's fixed. Now we have better audio, and you can expect better quality from this channel going forward. I hate to admit when I'm wrong or when I goofed up. That's a fact, but I did, and I admit it here to you. But let's just keep it between us. I also have a couple of guests that I want to bring on the channel from time to time to profile different tech and do reviews. So that's why I picked up these microphones. I got a steep discount. You can too on DJI.com. Just check refurbished. They have all kinds of products there available. 
and I think they usually give at least a 20% discount. So you'll have to go check it out. So the moral of this video is Cliff makes mistakes and he makes them all the time. This one was a pretty big one, if you ask me, but will we recover? Will we do better? Will we try harder? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support of the channel. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button, hit the like and the bell. It doesn't cost a thing and we'd be glad to have you here on our team and look forward to seeing you in the next video.